in France and everywhere else, um, the concept and the formula of legal models has invaded um, the field of law. But there is a kind of paradox. In the one hand, every lawyer is using the word and the formula, but on the other hand, the lawyer has not really a theoretical, a conceptual, and a, an epistemological approach of what is a legal model, what is the advantages of legal model, and what are the risks, the danger, um, by using this uh, concept. And then, in this uh, legal, um, in this little uh, book, published on the um, Société de Législation Comparée Editions, I wanted to um, apply um, three problems. The first one is historically uh, why the lawyers um, have not an epistemological approach of what is a legal model. The second problem is what is the can, kind of uh, using for a lawyer um, when they um, express themselves by uh, the word or the formula um, legal model. There is a practical use, a predictive use, a reform use, and then um, in the last chapter, uh, I wanted to have a conceptual, a theoretical approach to say what is um, um, a legal model, what are the risks and the advantages um, of this concept. This little book can be useful for, I think, uh, two kinds of lawyers. On the one hand, of course, for comparative lawyers, because they use um, legal models and the circulation of legal models in the world. And on the other hand, for all lawyers who are trying to um, make categorizations of the law. Because when we make a categorization, we want to simplify the reality, the complex reality of law. And it's not um, different from what we call the modelization of the law.